Five years ago, Adrian was gunned down by a team of policemen for his involvement in illegal drugs. For his mother, it was her darkest moment. This is where Adrian was shot dead by three police officers. The bullet holes in the wall are mute witnesses to his brutal killing. One of more than 6,000 who died in Duterte's blood-soaked war on drugs, a signature policy when he came to power in 2016. Now, the families of poor drug war victims face another problem. Authorities want to exhume their remains if they cannot pay the annual dues to public cemeteries. Despite rains, Lorena Casquejo visited her husband's tomb in one of the five-level type of burial apartments in Tala Cemetery in North Caloocan. In two months, her five-year lease in the cemetery will lapse. She has no money to extend the lease for another five years. Lorena said she will find ways to pay 5,000 to 7,000 pesos to renew the list. The Philippine National Police said more than 6,000 have died and about 283,000 drug users and peddlers have been arrested since Duterte's day one in Malacanang. Human rights groups said the actual death toll could be from 20,000 to 30,000, including those killed by mass vigilantes. Limang taon na na walang nangyayari, no? Ganon at ganon pa rin. Halos mga maliliit ang nag-ibiktima ng patayan. Many groups can't wait in Duterte's final term. For them, while justice remains elusive, Goodbye! Goodbye! Goodbye, Duterte! I am Stanley Gehete and we are One News.